Hey, Kimberly Sizemore here from Camp Oaks RV. Today, I want to give you a little lesson about weights of trailers. I know it seems like an easy thing. How much does this trailer weigh? But we get a lot of questions about GVWR, UVW, hitch weight. So I want to make sure that you know exactly what you're looking for and what you're talking about when you're discussing trailer weights. And I'm going to use this clipper behind me as an example. This is a clipper 17 FQ we just got in. It weighs just right over 3,000 pounds, 3,064 pounds. That's the dry weight. Sometimes you'll see the letters UVW. That stands for unloaded vehicle weight. UVW and dry weight are the same thing. Basically, it's just exactly how much this trailer weighs as is straight from the factory without any of your stuff in it, without full tanks or anything. So that's dry weight. When you're looking at how much can I pull with my vehicle, you are looking at what is that dry weight amount. And then you know you're gonna have to add some to that. That's where GVWR comes in. That stands for Gross Vehicle Weight Rating. On this trailer, it's 766 pounds more than dry weight at 3830. That means you can only put 766 pounds uh, worth of stuff and think about your tanks before that's too heavy for this trailer. The gross vehicle weight rating is how much weight this trailer on these axles on this frame can tolerate. That's the max amount of weight that can be put on it. Now, what is hitch weight? Some people think that hitch weight, which for this trailer is 330 pounds, think that hitch weight needs to be added into that dry weight number. It doesn't. Don't figure in hitch weight separately. That's a whole different thing that only tells you how much weight is going to be sitting on the ball of your vehicle. And of course, a minivan and an F-250 are going to have different amounts that can handle your, so that number, that hitch weight is only for your tow vehicle when you're looking at how much can I tow. Hitch weight, something you need to think about, hitch weight does not count a battery in box and a propane tank, which are going to be sitting on the front tongue of your camper too. The hitch weight also tells you if you need or what kind you need a weight distribution hitch. What a weight distribution hitch does is it takes all that pressure off the tongue of your vehicle, off the ball, and it distributes it between the rear of your vehicle and the camper. So that's where that hitch weight comes in. But otherwise, you don't need to know what that is. Let's take a look over here at this um, larger camper and give us another example. Over here, we have a... Uh, this is a, a sold camper, but it's a little bit bigger. It's a 184 BHS. This 184 BHS weighs 4,200 pounds dry weight. Remember, that's how much it weighs without anything on it. The gross vehicle weight is 5,500 pounds. That means you have an extra 1,300 pounds that can go in this trailer. You're probably not going to use that whole 1,300 pounds, but just so you know, you can't put more than 1,300 before this trailer is maxed out. So here's what we say. The average person's going to put a couple hundred pounds worth of stuff in it, but you also have to think about tanks. This trailer behind me has 25-pound gray water tank, a 25-pound black water tank, and a 27-gallon fresh water tank. If your tanks are full, that 25 gallon tank is gonna weigh about 200 pounds full. Let me give you an example. My husband and I took the kids to Pigeon Forge a few years ago camping. There was an issue with their gray, their dump station on the way out of the campground. And so we had to drive home with full tanks over the mountains. Those full, two full tanks, the gray tank and the black water tank probably added an extra 400 pounds to our camper. Our general rule of thumb is that when you're looking at a camper, you need to give yourself an extra thousand pounds. That's probably gonna be more than sufficient for what you would need with your stuff plus the tank. So that's just a general rule of thumb. But if you're looking at your tow vehicle, if you can tow 7,000 pounds, you need to look for a trailer that's 6,000 pounds or less. The more room you give yourself, obviously the better it's gonna be when you're going over mountains, you won't feel that, that behind you. That's not a true rule of thumb if you're just buying a pop-up camper. It does not have the weight sizes. It doesn't even have black tanks for most pop-ups. It doesn't have a potty. Um, so that's not gonna be the same on a pop-up. A pop-up, you might wanna look at 500 pounds extra. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a lesson today on dry weights. UV 
GVWs, GVWR, and hitch weight. I know that's just a brief overview, but maybe gives you just a little bit more clarity in what you're looking for when you're looking for a camper. If you have any more questions, you just let me know, subscribe to our channel, and maybe I'll answer your next question. See you soon.